When ready, the engineer will raise the ladder at least 10 degrees and then extend it at least 10 feet. The firefighter can now safely get into position without any pinch or trap zones. The firefighter places the plates in the down position and kneels on the ladder, then hooks the ladder belt to the truss and places hands on the beam of the ladder. After confirming the rescue firefighter is safely positioned, the engineer can now complete the ladder evolution using the proper techniques including elevating, rotating, and extending the ladder to the victim. If any of the safety steps are unable to be completed, the evolution is a no-go. The rescue firefighter can verbally guide and assist the engineer using the intercom for proper placement to the window or balcony. With the rescue firefighter at the tip of the ladder, he or she can also instruct victims awaiting rescue to safely board the ladder and ensure it is not overloaded. The rescue firefighter can then descend the ladder with the victim and prepare for additional rescues if needed. This aerial ladder rescue technique ensures a quick and safe rescue with the firefighter in the tip of the ladder. Remember, 10 degrees, 10 feet minimum. <laughs>